All right, everybody, welcome back to the three hour news show. We're going to talk about something which is, well, everybody now has the mobile wallet, perhaps. If you, you know, usually in the old days we have a physical wallet, but today we need to have our mobile wallet. Well, digital apps have really made our life easier recently. Market research from Ipsos Indonesia has named a number of leading applications in Southeast Asia, which they dubbed as super apps. Now, to learn more about its super apps research, we have Ipsos Indonesia Managing Director Suprapto Tan with us. Good afternoon, Pak Suprapto. It's good to see you finally here in the studio. We yeah. talked about, you talked before through Zoom, right? Yeah, yeah. Good afternoon and thanks for inviting me to the studio. Lovely studio. Yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> before we talk about more, I mean, uh, now we've seen um, more and more super apps because yeah. before we saw in China, perhaps we saw WeChat and also Alipay now in Southeast Asia. We, uh, well, Indonesia is quite a big market mm -hmm. and now we have Goto, we have Grab, we have also C. Um, so maybe you can tell us more first, what is a super app? Yeah, I mean, uh, the definition, uh, clearly, I mean, the super app is actually uh, set by uh, WeChat yeah, mm -hmm. in, the, in the beginning, yeah, I mean, back uh, years ago. So the definition of a super app is actually is an application that serves multi functions, mm -hmm. yeah, multi purpose that cater for daily needs, right? That's basically the, you know, um, it can be like uh, digital payments, transportation, right, and many more, right? Groceries, uh, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, that's uh, basically uh, the definition of the super apps. So, one app that cater mm -hmm. daily needs of our life. Mm -hmm. well, how do you see it in Indonesia or in Southeast Asia perhaps? I mean, in China, it's, it's a very big market. Yeah. And if we see the biggest market in Southeast Asia, which is perhaps Indonesia, mm -hmm. we're only one-fifth of China's population, yeah. right? Yeah. So how do you see the market? And, you know, we've seen also different um, uh, cultures, characteristics between mm -hmm. all the Southeast Asian mm -hmm. countries. So yes. how do you see this? Uh, yeah, I mean, in, in terms of the competition landscape itself, it's already very different, right? If within the Southeast Asia, definitely Indonesia, has the most uh, super apps candidates that you know we list down around uh, 10 to 12 uh, super apps while in other countries like singapore and some other countries um, they are actually um, only like four or five uh, super apps but that definitely is because like our population is much bigger than them and the potentially you know uh, it covers quite a lot of uh, population in indonesia that's why the super apps in indonesia are much more diverse compared to uh, um, other Southeast Asia countries. Mm -hmm. What is the most indicators that you use in your research for this? Sorry, say again? The most indicators or the, the most important indicators that you yeah, use? Yeah, right. We, we have, uh, we have uh, four, four dimensions that we uh, measure related to these uh, best super apps. Mm -hmm. uh, one is the awareness. Then we have the engagement. Uh, we have a user experience. And uh, we have a usefulness. The biggest one is actually definitely need to be um, good awareness. Yeah, the awareness is going to be um, much more uh, play importance uh, in these uh, super apps uh, decisions. Which one is the most uh, super apps in Southeast Asia? Mm -hmm. right. But what about the uh, the development here in Indonesia? If you see, there are a lot of people that is underbanked, if if you mm -hmm. would call it mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. They don't have any bank portfolio mm -hmm. or whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are in the verge of you know moving from yeah. you know physical wallet to mobile wallet. So how do you see this? Which is that's uh, that's why um, why uh, in Indonesia the super apps is actually so well developed because it covers actually not only for the upper to um, uh, middle to upper income but also actually the super apps that we have now it covers all the unbankable people which is majority at the lower end yeah um, it makes us unique because in other countries the bankable rate is actually much higher than us right because of the geographical spread in indonesia that's why um, in term of potentiality yeah um, whatever that actually super app develop in indonesia tends to have a very good and fast response mm -hmm. and to be, you know, to have a, a large um, uh, customer base for that super apps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, could you explain about more about your research? I mean, you also uh, compared uh, samples from other countries yeah. as well, from Vietnam, yeah. from Singapore, Malaysia, yeah. Thailand, yeah. as well as Indonesia. Yeah, so we have, um, so we actually taking a sample size of uh, 3,500. Mm. Yeah, um, Indonesia, we put a um, much bigger sample size because of the diversity, hmm. right? So we have a male, female, um, 1855 years old, okay. and those who have a smartphone, yeah, and they have a 
at least one super apps and uh, have a few transactions um, uh, within uh, past uh, two months or three months. Right. That's basically what we have. Um, so this is um, we reach them through our online panel. So we have around 65,000 online panel for Indonesia only, yeah, and around 200,000 um, panelists in Southeast Asia. So we reach them through uh, online methodology. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we uh, take back to Indonesia, how do you compare Indonesia to other countries in terms of the, you know, super apps? But as a note, uh, we are having also um, people that have not, you know, yet internet connections, for yeah. example, uh, yet yeah. alone, let alone the uh, smartphones. Yeah, that's for that reason, actually, our sample size in Indonesia is much bigger. It is because of the diverse of the demography mm -hmm. and the coverage of the areas, uh, which is that's important for us to make it uh, apple to apple for other countries. So we are actually trying to um, um, uh, normalize uh, in terms of the number of population with the sample size, so we get much more accurate um, uh, data when we collect it uh, on these uh, super F studies. Uh, so uh, could you talk specifically about the uh, age group? So what age groups are usually using this uh, super apps for now? So uh, in, in, in Indonesia, it's quite diverse. Mm -hmm. It's actually from 18 to 55. Mm. But the biggest one is actually from 18 all the way to 40 plus. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's where actually the biggest chunk, which is 60-70% uh, of the group of population who use the super apps. Mm -hmm. Well, we talk, if we talk about um, super apps, mm -hmm. uh, is this not only um, an application that you can use for your grocery shopping, your, yeah. uh, maybe your, you know, uh, your uh, membership for gym, or right. etc., right. but also for loans, for, for investment and all that. Yeah. Could, could you talk more on that? Yeah, I mean, um, it, it can be many ways, yeah. In, in fact, actually, what, what I understand is that um, uh, Facebook, right, through Meta now, they are actually trying to um, um, develop the super apps, right? They have a big uh, base of their customers. They also want to do that. Apple also trying to do that. In Indonesia, we are seeing more like um, uh, education, right, medical. They are trying to be uh, super apps, right? So, I mean, it's, it is very potential. I think the... The thing that make them the accelerated growth for these super apps is because now the penetration of internet, the penetration of smartphone is getting higher. 80% mm -hmm. of the smartphone now, yeah, internet is like 60% and keep climbing up. Yeah. So there's a, there's always a, there's always an opportunity, you know, for um, people who develop super apps in Indonesia to grow very fast. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's this. All right. So I mean. If we look at the screen yeah. right now, uh, Pastor Prapto, if we compare Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia, Philippines, Singapore, yeah. uh, Grab, for example, it started in 2016, right? Yes. Um, and how, how do you see the progress so far? I mean, you categorize Grab as the biggest yeah. super apps right yeah. now in Southeast yeah. Asia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, um, um, but again, like what I said, you know, it, it depends on the presence, right? Mm -hmm. Grab, as we know, that actually they have a presence in uh, every country, mm -hmm. right? So, of course, you know, when they have a presence, the in every country, the brand equity is much more stronger. Remember that the main component is awareness. Yeah. Right. The awareness actually, if you look at it, in most of the, uh, in all countries except for Indonesia, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they all actually become the champions of the super apps. Hmm. Yeah. If I remember, Grab was very much of the uh, awareness, as you said, because yeah. the right hailing was very yeah. strong here, yeah. especially yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think about the others, like Shopee and Gojek, for example? Yeah, I mean, um, 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 in Indonesia, is the real jungle of uh, super apps, actually, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because there are many competition. Like what I said, there are uh, 11 to 12 super apps now mm -hmm. that compete within the list, and these three actually emerge as the super apps, mm -hmm. the best top three. Now, could you explain to us, maybe we're, we're not very much uh, familiar with the numbers that, that or you mentioned here. Mm -hmm. uh, could you explain more with um, the numbers here? What do, what do yeah. they mean? So this is actually is the index. Mm -hmm. yeah? The highest is actually 100%. Mm -hmm. yeah? So it means that uh, 57 of the sample populations that we collected actually think that Grab is actually is the best super apps mm. uh, that they use because there are four, four elements, right? And um, you know they use that, and they rating uh, one to five, yeah. And then we actually calculate it based on the weighting, based on that. And then we have Grab as the um, together with Shopee, definitely, yeah. Um, uh, they are actually become uh, the best, the most preferable super apps in Indonesia, followed by Gojek. In Malaysia, we have again the same, but mm. except that the touch and go. 
is actually come to be the third, mm -hmm. right? And in Singapore, that's a, that's the base of Grab, right? That's so, right, seventy-three. Yes, that's the highest actually. Uh, but again, Shopee also have a very good uh, presence there, and also followed by Lazada, right? Thailand quite similar. Yeah, uh, Grab, Shopee, here. and Lazada. Mm -hmm. Philippine is quite different. Yeah, where Gcash is actually is the uh, second highest, mm -hmm. and followed by Vietnam is actually quite dominant there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nowadays, we also see how Gojek made a move uh, by acquisitioning the uh, Tokopedia as well yes, to make yes, this yes. all possible. So, how do yes. you see uh, Goto yes. then? It is still within uh, Tokopedia is actually within the top five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's actually again like what I said, um, the rating based on the rating that we collected, one thousand respondent in Indonesia, mm -hmm. it appears on the top five where actually we only highlight the top three. Yeah, how do you see yeah. the end game of super apps, especially in Indonesia or in Southeast yeah. Asia? It's, it will keep growing. I'm quite sure this will keep growing. <coughs> and it will branch to um, some other categories like education. Hmm. Yeah. Medical, Edutech, for example. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Medical is uh, that's one of the things that actually we will um, um, see uh, is growing rapidly because of uh, the situations now, which is quite relevant. Right? Hmm. Hmm. So how do you predict if you could you know, predict the future uh, of edutech and social media apps? I mean, uh, nowadays we've seen also uh, education apps, but how is the future is going to be like? Is it, is it going to be uh, easier for people uh, to have you know, a bigger opportunity? Like you don't really have to travel, for example, or you can get you know, more equal education standards, especially among uh, people who are not very fortunate and not having the privilege, for example. Well, um, I mean, super apps in uh, uh, for uh, social media, right? That's become the next target. Hmm. They have a big, large uh, a customer base, right? For instance, like Facebook have a uh, 200 millions. Uh, if not mistaken, uh, Meta is actually developing the Meta world for the purpose of developing a super apps. Yeah, they will definitely go there. You know, they are just in the setup period, and it's going to be the we call it the third generation of super apps, hmm. where actually using a VR and etc. Uh, Google, I heard also they are actually developing similarly, yeah, and also the Apple, um, which is through Apple Pay, they are also developing similarly. I mean, in in reality, there there should be, of course, you know, all these um, social media where they have a large um, uh, uh, base of their uh, people, they want to monetize this, right? Mm -hmm. And the only way for them to monetize this is to create a super apps. Mm. Right. The all right. So the future is, is we're we're gonna see it very. Very close in the yeah. future, then. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I think within five years, if you, mm -hmm. I mean, if things are uh, everything according to the plan, you will start seeing these uh, social media players. They will go to toward the super app. All right, looking forward for that. And once again, Pazu Prato, thank you so much for joining us here yeah. in the studio. And we hope to see another research from Ipsos in the near future. Thank you, Pazu. Thank healthy. you. All right. All right, we'll be back with some, um, you know, update from the business world, of course, after the break. So stay tuned in the 3-hour news show on C Today.